Today we're going to be our, reacting to Steven Crowder, the conservative pot belly pig. The, uh, the conservative clown, if you know what I mean. But anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the bell notification on, that way we can help grow the channel. Right now I think I'm at around 600 or something subscribers. So let's get this back up so we can, so we can start clowning these absolute grifting goons. Anyways. Make you stay. I know how to go my way. I don't wanna make you stay. You don't wanna count my way. Let's skip the intro because, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty long time and, uh, it's about as many good points as this man has, less than three minutes of, uh, hundreds of hours of long worth of content, you know, but anyways, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see how this conservative gooning sesh goes, anyways. Come here, you little sh Sorry about that. Let's get into this. Uh, yeah, that video is just a uh, montage of different, uh, different clowns he portrays himself to be. Uh, I think one of them was Bobo. I think one of them was Krusty. But yeah, uh, I guess it's about as, about as uh, much as I, you know, would expect. Uh, anyways, let's uh, react to another video. Because I want to talk too about us. To you know, this this kind of culture that's been created of open season on comedians, and talk about us. Uh, you know, you, you speak. I love how the first thing he brings up is open season on comedians. Dog, you're funny in the same way a clown's funny, okay? Nobody's laughing with you. We're all laughing at you. Does that kind of make sense? You, like, if, if the butt of a joke was an actual anus, this man would have a Moby Huge in it, okay? Like, this man is the biggest butt of the joke I will ever see. And it... The people who do watch him and think it's funny is echo chambered again. Like, also, tell me, tell me you're, tell me you're a self-inflated asshole without telling, tell me you're a self-inflated asshole. The, this reminds me of that clip of the ABC in Australia being like, "Don't start a podcast, don't start a podcast, you fuckwit." I, I, it's the same, it's the same kind of vibe, you know, take away the macho sounding voice and it's, they make fun of me, they don't think I'm a comedian, dog, like, I swear to God, replace a macho accent, replaces, oh, it's open season on comedians with, it's open season on comedians, <laughs> anyways, let's keep going. You know, you, you speak on college campus. I've obviously done stand-up for a long time, and I've only recently gotten back to doing stand-up, where I don't do college campuses anymore. I've had to stop. Um, but in stand-up, I want to see, uh, we have a watch and react here, and I asked Ben before this, you know, I do a little bit in stand-up about you, and I want to see if this warrants me being slapped, and I offer my non-apologies in advance. This was, I believe, taped at the Majestic in Dallas. Uh, Steven, I, I, I don't think you deserve being smacked, but I think the, uh, the viewer is going to feel smacked in the face with a bit of, uh, with a bit of stupid, you know, with a bit, with a bit of the dumb juice, you know, uh, can, can we just, can we just say beet, if we say Beetlejuice three times in a row, does that, does, will that like a racist man? I mean, come on, you, it, 
again, you're not funny. You're an edgelord, okay? If you said you were an edgelord, I'd be like, yeah, it'll make sense. You know, he's, uh, he's, uh, clearly, you know, trying to go against the establishment. When the establishment is both the, uh, Democratic Party and the, uh, and the Republican Party in the United States. But yeah, sure, buddy, you know, sure. Uh, keep go, keep fighting the establishment. Yep, mm-hmm, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely agree with that by absolutely being a Donald Trump suckcock and just saying nothing bad about him. But anyways, let's continue. Also, too, fair warning, I, I am not responsible for if you, uh, if you bust your appendix open by cringing at this or any other internal organs in your abdominal area with cringe, I'm just letting you know I'm not responsible for that. Because I've never really felt comfortable doing live reads in the show. It's always awkward. I can't just feather it in like Ben Shapiro. Like, well, you know, as a matter of fact, I think that uh, <laughs> any parents who put their child on puberty blockers is uh, committing child abuse and it's disgusting and almost as disgusting as 200 thread count bed sheets. That's why I use Bolin brand bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> is that a commercial? I, yep, again, take, take away the, take away the, uh, the macho accent of, oh, look at Ben Shapiro. Oh, look at Ben Shapiro. I wish I could do live reads. I wish I could do that. He's like, I don't know. like, dog, take that, take that sound and take and add, and add this, already. I can't do live reads because they're too difficult for me. Look at Ben Shapiro when he says puberty blockers and child abuse. Like, it's the same thing. You sound like a snot-nosed brat, okay? You, you, in fact, you sound so much like a snot-nosed brat that you're probably a sinus infection, okay? Let's just be real. You, like, you are a goober, bruh. Let's get a, a, let's just be honest, okay? If we were in Bikini Bottom, I would be SpongeBob. You would be the Goofy Goober Peanut. You know, I would be partying, having fun. You you would just be the the peanut everybody laughs at, you know? You are the joke, Steven. You are the joke. I, I, I know people have been saying this for a long time. You're not funny. You sound like a smarmy brat. Honestly, I don't know how you did not get your own Bratz doll. They really should have made one for, for, out of your face and features, okay? This... Honestly, it would have been so on point. But anyways, sadly, I don't think we're ever going to say that. Let's continue. It's a fact. What's happening at the southern border is uh, unnecessary and why we need a wall. And you two can break down the wall of plaque on your teeth with a quip toothbrush. You're like, that little... It's a commercial. That little Jew did it again. <laughs> Ben Shapiro, he doesn't age. He looks so young. Uh, Kevin Spacey tried to bang him. He's just... <laughs> and I've since added the cath that uh, priests don't... You know, sometimes... People like Ben Shapiro really make me wish... I wish the Holocaust was successful because then you won't get cringe interpretations like, like, you know, like him. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, you know, this, uh, this, uh, YouTube colon worm, you know, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this YouTube, uh, this YouTube scapies, uh, this pest, if you will, uh, is absolutely, you know, absolutely insane. Uh, you know, uh, basically, and, and by the way, here's a debate tactic they use. It's lie to your face and hope no one calls them out on it. Y you know, like, honestly, what do you expect from these conservative goons, you know? These, uh, this, uh, this, but anyways, uh, yeah, these, uh, conservative types apparently love jacking each other off but obviously they can't come right they can't blast the semen so all they do is just have their little conservative goon sesh 
where they're just like getting right to the point and they're like, no, 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 no. The Bible says we can't spunk. It's an on and, and the Bible says homosexuality is bad, so we can't spunk to each other. You know, we we can't do that. We can only goon, you know. But anyways, that's 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 continue watching this uh this uh glo this uh glorified caveman, shall we? I don't know if they're more disappointed that you're Jewish or 40. So, Ben, <laughs> would you hit me? You sick son of a bitch. <laughs> I will say this, though. See, he was trying to make that sound funny, but it just came across as like, eh, you're just an asshole, you know? Like, he really wanted to make that hit, too. Like, like you know, he was like, Ooh, this is gonna work. People are gonna laugh at this. People are, people are. I don't know what people are more surprised about that you're a Jew or that you're forty. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, uh, sorry about that. I had to die laughing at that for a second. You know, it's hilarious. Obviously, I'm joking, but you know, that's uh, that's. Now that's pretty much about the quality of content you get from someone like Steven Crowder, you know? Does someone does someone you could point at and go <laughs> Honestly, you know the way I laugh at him is really honestly uh, like that like that uh, like that guy from uh, back at the barnyard where he would see the cows being alive and they'd scare him off. But he would always bully them when they're not like talking. So like he would always go, hey, 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 hey. that's, that's, that, that's, uh, the, you know, you know, uh, yeah, uh, you know, or, uh, you know, or have the Nelson Muntz reaction from The Simpsons, but anyways, yeah, if you like my video, like I said, hit the subscribe button, hit the, uh, the, the like button, hit the, the bell notification on, that way you get all of my content, anyways, peace.